Good morning, long time no see. I know I've been posted since like, I wanna say March or something with my last Hiro Matsuri vlog, but today something really exciting has happened. I have bought my own button press and button like cutter machine secondhand, and I will be making my own buttons at home, not asking Six Cent Press to press them for me anymore. And I'm gonna take this into my own hands. And I just went to Staples to pick up the prints of my buttons. And I just wanted to kind of go through this process with you. I'm totally new to pressing buttons. I might screw up. If I screw up, you're gonna see it. <laughs> but um, let me just show you what the button sheets look like before I cut them out and start pressing them. So I did a sheet of Aqua from Konosuba. The show is really freaking stupid, but it's funny. <laughs> And then, oh, these are totally out of order, but whatever. This is Carol from Carol on Tuesday. If you haven't checked out that uh, anime, it's really freaking good. Um, but if you don't want to watch it, just look up the song Galactic Mermaid by the Mermaid Sisters. Um, it's a song in Carol on Tuesday, and you won't regret looking that up. <laughs> and then I have a Darkness from Konosuba as well. I drew this with my friend Vince um, early in the morning at a Starbucks. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm really happy with how the print quality turned out. Like people always bash staples for not knowing what they're doing with the prints, but honestly, I'm really happy with how these buttons look. Um, this is Dororo from, uh, <laughs> Dororo. <laughs> I already have a Hyakimaru one. I think later in this video, I'm gonna show me just rearranging my button board because I bought a bigger button board. Um, and yeah, here is Kizuna Ai. She is a famous virtual Japanese YouTuber. She's very, very funny. She's a little bit snooty and I like that about her. <laughs> but she, she actually looks super cute here. Um, and then here, this is Megumin from Konosuba. I really like how the colors turn out in this one. Very nice. And then we have uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer. This is Nezuko. Um, she's really cute. And then I have Tanjiro, her big brother. And I'm so happy with how these turned out. And then this is Tuesday from Carol and Tuesday. Our sweet little blonde angel that plays the guitar. <laughs> Money. And take your graphic, mylar, and then you want to orient these so they're facing you. Spin the turntable, place your fin back in the crimp station, sharp edge up. You want to make sure the, the pin is towards the top of the button and facing straight from left to right. Pull the handle down. And the shell graphic and mylar stay in the upper die. You spin the turntable so the pin back is underneath the upper die. Pull down the handle. Spin the turntable. There you have a finished two and a quarter button. Here are the thousand button parts I ordered. So I have a thousand mylar, a thousand button backs, and a thousand button frisbee front thingies. These are gonna last me forever, but um, I'm hoping to do artist alleys for a long, long time. So an investment, it's an investment. Just making sure I do this properly. I've downloaded the button making um, instructions from Tiker. Um, so hopefully I don't fail at making my first aqua button over here. Graphic should be facing me. 
By the way, for the button layouts, I want to thank Harley, or Doki Pistol is her artist handle. She showed me the site Button Designer, I think it's .com. If you just Google Button Designer, it should be the first pop-up or two. And they have a really good tool where you can lay out all the buttons so that you can cut them out properly with enough space in between. And you can fit, for a 1.25 inch button, you can fit 24 designs on one 8.5 by 11 paper. And honestly, Harley, thank you for showing me that. If you're watching this, wholehearted thank you. Next time I see you, I'm treating you to something. Bubble tea, coffee, something. Just, that's a promise, okay? <laughs> My bar. Okay. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. I can't believe this. Rotate the die so the pin side goes on this side. Okay. Okay. Spinneroo. Oh god. Ah! <gasps> Look. Look! Oh my god oh my god okay don't kill my buzz or vibe here by not focusing camera look i can't i can't believe this i just pressed my first button i might cry <laughs> because i just might i've wanted one of these button presses since i was 16. i'm 26 now that's 10 years 10 years and I feel like I'm fulfilling some sort of dream. That sounds so stupid and cheesy, but I'm so happy right now. of me getting this button maker is so I can control my inventory better because when I ordered from Six Cent Press um, I always need to order like a whole bunch of it to make it worth it if you know what I mean like a minimum order type of deal but now I can like press literally two buttons if I wanted <laughs> always remember to recycle your papers kids the environment will thank you. I hope you guys don't mind that like I'm not wearing any makeup and it's like I literally just got up, drove to Staples in rush hour, how stupid am I? Uh, I drove back and now I'm just pressing buttons at like a really early hour in the morning. This used to be more of like a makeup channel. I gained a lot of subscribers since then. Um, well, not a lot relatively to like people that have like a million subscribers but for me, I gained a whole bunch of subscribers after my Harumatsuri vlog and you know, I don't know if I want to make this channel completely Artist Alley related, but I do really enjoy doing Artist Alley vlogs and I'm thinking of doing more of these like prep videos when I can. I still have to make prints for my, um, for my Artist Alley. Oh, I want to show you some of my watercolors I've been working on. So in this book of watercolor papier, papier, my French is not good. I'm working on some of these like just watercolor paintings. This is an unfinished Raftalia from Shield Hero. This is a I haven't even started painting him, but that's Minalfi me from Shield Hero. And then there's one more. And then there's this almost finished Kira from Ruby. And um, I need to finish painting these, but I recently really enjoyed painting with watercolor and um, I kind of want to sell originals, just test the waters with selling originals. Um, you're going to laugh at me. There's people out there with like $100 watercolor sets. This baby, I've had it since kindergarten. It was 99 cents as it's still written on the top of the watercolor painting set. And like this baby has gotten me through thick and thin since I was a wee bab. Anyway, let's go back to the paper cutting montage. This, this is good content, right? Just cutting buttons. I can't believe I've wanted to do this since I was 16 and now I'm doing it finally. There's my Nezuko. 
I think if you're wondering um, if it's worth it to buy your own button maker or to like outsource to another company to make your buttons for you, that's a bit of a difficult decision. I follow this um, blog on Tumblr. <laughs> I follow this blog on Tumblr. Um, it's called How to Be a Con Artist. No, not the criminal kind, but the, the kind that sells at artist alleys and like creators markets and that kind of thing. And they're all so friendly on that blog, the people that run it. But she pretty much broke down the pros and cons for me of pressing your own buttons versus outsourcing. And I'll actually link that post in my description box down below if you're interested. If not, whatever. <laughs> Just enjoy this button making video slash studio vlog. This isn't my studio. This is my bedroom. Okay, let's press some Burtons. Some Tim Burtons. Look at my aqua. Just look at her. I'm a proud mother. Facing you. Okay, Kizuna. Mother proud, Kizuna. <laughs> I look like I'm in pain whenever I, whenever I do that. <gasps> oh no. I did it the wrong way. <laughs> this will be my display button. <laughs> it's a learning process. It's a learning process. Okay, here we go. This better not be the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Frisbee first. Then your art. Then your mylar. Spin that bench around. Give her the old one, two. Put the button back so that the pin side is facing the right. If I ever said the left during this vlog, I am wrong. Don't listen to me from before, from the past. Listen to me now. Whirly side to the left. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should like make a note on my button press, swirly side to the left, <laughs> so that I remember. This must be painstakingly slow for you, for some of you that do watch like button pressing vlogs, but um, I'm a noob, so <laughs> I hope you enjoy this learning process. So this is my old button board. As you can see, it's only got room for like maybe three or four more buttons, but I have nine new designs. So I'm thinking of putting it on this button board, which is, for size comparison, much bigger. Um, I don't think I have enough buttons to fill this completely, but I don't really want to make my old button board look a little too tight, if you know what I mean. So I'm probably going to rearrange everything on this board here.
even after all that planning and arranging, I ended up using the smaller button board, but just kind of making the buttons a little more densely packed together. I don't think that they're so dense that like people will just glaze over them. I think it's still okay. But um, I'm just thinking like, I don't want to use a huge, huge board with this many buttons because it looks too empty. And I feel like people, I don't know. You ever heard of the term tyranny of choice? When there's too many choices, people don't, it's like way harder for them to make a decision and thus maybe they're less likely to want to buy one of my buttons. So I think this curtain layout's pretty good. I do want to make more button designs in the future, so we might end up having a big button smorgasbord on this cork board. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this wasn't a boring video. Um, my first Artist Alley this summer is in July. It's July 13th. It's SFU Summerfest. I got off the waiting list for it and I have a full-size table and I will be selling all those buttons you saw in this video uh, at that event. Um, I'll put more information in the description box and probably somewhere on the screen there's already something that I put um, and I'll put my other cons that I'm going to in the description box as well. Um, I pr should probably focus on like prints now considering I've had the same prints for a year but um, we shall see. Buttons are just they're quicker than prints and they're fun to make and I love drawing chibis but We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, give this video a like if you want to see more like art related content. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I will be bringing you more arty goodness. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye bye!